What is up guys, Groge Gaming here, welcome back to another Clash Royale video. In today's video we're going to be playing with this deck. Um, it's a Hogmortar deck that I've just kind of came up with from... You see these two games here, I just kind of merged the decks together a little bit and I figured that it works pretty well. So yeah, it's been going, it's been going quite well for me. Um, we are 995th in the world right now, so we're doing okay. And what we're going to do today is just try and push up a little bit further. What we will do is, um, we'll show this game to start with, because it was pretty crazy. We'll do it on two times speed. Uh, I didn't really play perfectly, but we managed to grind out the win, so that's pretty good. It's all about grinding out those wins one way or another. So, um, obviously not the best start, because I didn't have the rocket or even the hog rider to punish. So, um, pretty, pretty awful starting hand, if you ask me. But I realised that um, when he played the minions and the minion horde and the elixir collector, I realised that it would be three musketeers. Um, and the only other thing that he would have would be ground troops, so that the knight with the archer supporting would actually be really, really deadly for, uh, against his deck. So it kind of forces him to play three musketeers. I don't know why he played them there. And I was pretending to be screwed, <laughs> you know, with the, the crying face, but obviously... I had a trick up my sleeve. So we're, we're doing pretty well right now. We've got the guy's tower down to um, a fair amount. He does have a pretty big elixir lead. I should have kind of got realized that it would be Gollum and not, not played the mortar, but there we go. I thought it would just kind of be a standard um, musketeer deck. So this was an okay play. This was a horrible play. Just call me Chief Pat because that, <laughs> that was horrendous. So, I'm kind of BMing here. I don't know why I was doing that. Because the arrows came in from him when he shouldn't have used them, obviously. Uh, I could have thrown in my arrows here to take out his tower, his, his king tower, but I thought probably best not. And then, obviously, pretty crazy push. And uh, I think the game's over at this point, but as you can see in a second, we are going to go pretty heavy on this left side, throw in the arrows, and get a lot of damage done with these archers. Um, and the Hog Rider, which is crazy. I think we had three archers in there. And somehow we managed to survive this push because we've got uh, the two towers activated. The Knight and the Archer's doing a lot of work for me. And then I, I forgot that my I had it down. Once I cleared up that um, all of that defense, um, we had enough for the Rocket and the Arrows. Some people might not like that, you know, sometimes I BM, but sometimes I think it's pretty funny, to be honest. Um, and yeah, so here's the deck obviously. My arrows aren't leveled up and nor is my rocket, but that's not a problem. We're going to try and push up a little bit more today anyway, so let's go ahead and do that and uh, see if we can pull off some wins. Maybe push into top 500, who knows. The thing with this deck is not really... You've got to figure out what the opponent's deck is first. And then you can kind of go in with the hog or the mortar, whatever whatever fits well. You see here, um, we we need to get some kind of hog push going, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to. Uh, we'll, we'll try and form some kind of a push. And see what he does. Yes, he's going to do that. Not ideal for us at all, but um, we'll just see what we can get going. Obviously, that baby dragon's going to do a fair bit of work, but I think after that, we're going to be good. See that? That's pretty good. Pretty well played from me there. Managed to get back to the knight. Um, and then I think what we are going to do is we are going to push this lane with the single archer, the hog rider in there. We've got arrows if we need them, but I'm not sure we're going to we're going to use them. No, that archer's going to do a good job on the goblins, and the mega minion on the left is going to get taken out. So um, nothing needed from us in terms of defense. Let's get the rocket in there. Let's not chief pat it this time. Feeling pretty good. I've got a bit of a some light on my face going on, but we'll deal with that. So we don't want to drop the mortar on offense. We're just going to drop the goblins to apply a bit of pressure. Hopefully he might play something in front. A little tip I learned with the goblins is to play them um, 
to play them kind of here instead of here. Um, and that gets an extra chip shot, which I don't know if that's helpful to some people, but... So what we're going to do is tank and then spank that baby dragon out of the way, hopefully. Hopefully get it out in time. Yeah, that's decent. Um, let's see if we can get through this without using the rocket. That would be good. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be absolutely great here. Come on, take out that Mega Minion. Yes, we took it out. Beautiful stuff. So what we want to do here is we'll just protect these archers. And then we'll do this again. And then maybe just rocket down whatever else he puts in there. So we got rid of those, and then I think that's going to be perfect. Um, what we want to do is just... Okay, we didn't even need the, uh, the arrows in the end. But what we're going to do is form a pretty juicy push. Oh, the knight was actually in front, but never mind. That's a good game. He's played the... Um, he's played the... Uh, what do you call it? The go uh, golem. Good game. So you can see the kind of control this deck has. Um, I didn't really think it would be so great against beatdown decks, but um, we just proved there that it is. He didn't seem to have any kind of lightning or big spell, but um, we did great there. Let's just donate a couple. He did have lightning, but he didn't use it, so I'm not really sure what that was about. We've moved up to 876. Let's keep going, guys. Uh, I definitely recommend giving this deck a try. Uh, good luck. Crucible Wrath, always really good players, as you've seen in previous videos. They, uh, they've kind of handed me a pretty fat loss. So again, with the horrible starting hand, no rocket, no hog rider, can't punish. Oh, wow. So let us just see if we can get a pretty nasty little push coming in. Um, let's take that out. Seems worth it, just about. Hopefully he doesn't come in with something. Okay. I think this should be okay. We won't take too much damage there. Yeah, not, not not too much at all. He might have a log, but um, what we want to do is probably send in the hog. Hopefully they it, the hog gets targeted. Wow. So minion horde coming in. To be fair, we took out two of the minions, so that's actually not too bad. Or one of them. Wait, how many, min how many minions is in a minion horde? <laughs> that's really good for us, though. We've got the rocket for the balloon as well. So I'm feeling pretty good. Although... What we're going to do at this point is try and get the damage done because we've got the rocket for the balloon. Hmm. So we're just going to have to try and find the rocket value in here somewhere. Not entirely sure where it's going to come from, but we'll see. Okay, so that's... And then we've got the arrows. Let's hover these over here somewhere. Nah, he's just going to go with that. That would be great arrows, but obviously, kind of want to save it for the minion horde, to be honest. Try not to take too much damage over this side. Um, and then hopefully we can use the arrows. Yes, let's get the arrows in there. Quick, quick. Yes. So beautiful stuff there. We got the arrows in nicely. Um, hopefully we're going to not take too much damage there. The, the uh, Lava Hound pups are doing a bit of work, but nothing too serious. Let's come in, let's pressure him again. And then what we are going to do here, I don't know if he's seen the rocket, but here we go. Not too bad. So let's get some kind of hog push going. Let's go with a hog rider here, and then a knight in there, and then some minions in here too. And then he's probably going to want to play some, want to play some kind of minions. Let's take him out with the arrows. Take down that second tower, and it looks like we're going to take the win here. This deck, actually, I didn't know if it'd be so good against um, Lava lava Loon decks, but <laughs> we've proved it here that it is pretty decent. Good game. So I'm really happy with that win. We've taken down a strong cru Crucible Wrath player. Maxed out La Lava Loon, so really, really happy with that, guys. Um, let's see. We're 5200 now. That guy was 140th in the world last season. Check out his deck. I mean, he doesn't have a, he doesn't have any kind of spells for my minions, which worked out really, really nice for me. So we are now seven, seven, five in the world. 
And uh, what we're going to do is just going to carry on. Let's see how high we can push with this deck. We might take a few losses now, but that's not the end of the world. Also, apologies for this video being so late. Um, I did a video on Sunday on Three Musketeers, and then I wanted this video out on Monday or Tuesday, but now it's Wednesday. Um, I had problems all of yesterday just trying to get this video done. Things were cutting out. I Honestly, I tried to record it about four times, perhaps. I think it was about that many times. <clears throat> okay, I wonder if this takes this out. This would be good. Oops, is it even going to hit? Yeah, it's going to hit. Yes! It takes it out. Get rid of the um, archers, get rid of the minions as soon as we can. So, I can rocket his Sparky, which is great. I can arrow his minions, which is great. What do we want to do? We're just, we're going to play it nice and safe. Um, we're going to spit the archers at the back. And then, let's just go with the mortar. Oh, he missed, he missed one of them. So my uh, archer is going to take out most of his minions. And we're going to get a lot of work done on that left tower. I think I went silent for a second then. <laughs> so Sparky, it's kind of a bait deck. I wonder if he has... Um, so he's got Sparky, Hog, Princess, minions, normal minions as well. So pretty interesting deck from this guy, I have to say. Um... Let's go ahead and... Oh, okay. Okay, so that's going to get taken out. Um, and then I think this should get go down pretty easily. And then all we need for this hog is going to be a rocket. I'm not too bothered about that single shot. That's not the end of the world at all. And then what we are going to do is, I think... So just single minions. I was just waiting for a second there. Just want to take out these minions um, quickly. And then we are going to cycle back. Um, no, we're not going to go for a hog rider here. We're going to get the, um, the the arrows in for the minions and then hopefully take out this. Yeah, really nice there. We're taking out the, uh, the Sparky. Um, I think that mortar should actually take out... The princess, so that mortar's getting some decent value. Can't complain there. And then what we're going to do is go for an aggressive mortar this time. And then take out these minions. And hopefully, we can take out the hog rider too. Yeah, hog rider's going to go down. The goblins are going to go down and we are locked onto the tower. It looks like this is going to be a good game to be honest. Yeah, the minions are nice. That's a great play in there. Get the minions in there. Hog's going to swing away. Do we even need the rocket? No, we don't. Good game. Really happy with how this push is going today, guys. So, I wouldn't say I counter-decked him. Because he has the arrows. But he shouldn't have played his princess so much, I don't think. Um, and it just didn't really work out for him. So we gained, wow, we gained 34 trophies and 33 for that last one as well. So, we're up to 561. Uh, how long have we been recording? We don't want it to be a crazy long video, but we might as well keep going a little bit. Good luck. I kind of stumbled upon this deck just from merging those those two decks in um, in uh, TV Royale. So, um, you know what? <laughs> I don't want to try and hit the tower. We're just going to take them out as they stand. And then, um, mm, yeah, it's not great with the minions. Just because I already split the archers at the back, so he's going to have an elixir lead, I think. I'm not really sh What on earth just happened there? Did you guys see that? I'm not really sure what the, what the heck just happened. So I'm guessing he's going to have an elixir collector coming in at some point. Is that a bait? Is that some way to bait out my arrows? I'm not really sure. But I think we're going to let this go because he probably has some kind of minions. 
Um, I mean, I mean, like a minion horde. That would be. Um, that would make sense for him to have that. So all we're going to do for that Alex Collector is um, go with the rocket and then uh, just leave it as it is. No damage taken from either player after a minute gone. So um, minions, goblins, knights, three musketeers. Mortar should be okay, um, and then we can obviously kind of just see what's going on. Come on, hopefully the mortar takes out, yes, those ones over there. That's that's actually going to be great. Look at that. I think only a bit of um, minor chip damage, and we're going to get a couple of minion shots over there. So um, I'm definitely thinking he's going to have a minion horde at some point. We could go in for a pretty crazy prediction um, when it gets to the double time. So, And then we'll hover... Oops. <laughs> uh. So let's put some more pressure on him with these minions in here. And I think he might have a minion horde. Where is that minion horde at? It's not coming in. I want to see it. I want to see it. Need to see it. So if we just rocket these guys down on the right, that's going to be fine. Come in with that. And then we come in with these boys and then the goblins. Well, I guess are the minions boys or girls? I don't know. I suppose they're, they're kind of creatures. Hmm. That's actually going to be good. Um, and then what we want to do is something a bit like this, a bit like that, a bit like this with the minions. And then we're obviously going to get some kind of arrows in there on the minions. Come on, come on. That's out the way. Come on, let's go. Let's throw in all of this. And it looks like we're going to do a fair bit of damage to the tower. Yes, we're going to get it. It's rocket range, I think. Yes. Good game. Well played. So these uh, three musky decks are crazy to deal with sometimes. 473rd, that's awesome. This has gone about a billion times better than yesterday. Honestly, <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. Um, so we are third in the UK and then let's just see how far away we are from uh, global. So 5402, so um, about 141 trophies, I think that's right. This video would just be way too long if we tried to push into top 200, but I'm really, really happy with how we've gone today. So we've done four live games, and what I think I'm going to do, um, <clears throat> I don't want to push it and just kind of ruin the video with just a stupid loss, so what we're going to do is go through this replay, just kind of analyse it a little bit, um, see if we can get some tips in for the deck just to kind of round it all off and um, and everything like that. So in this instance, that was it would have been really stupid to try and rocket those those because um, I wasn't prepared for the rocket. And uh, I could have missed them and it would have just kind of the game would have gone downhill from there. So this is fine. We've taken an elixir deficit um, here. But nothing too major and that the ice spirit in when we were playing live, I couldn't actually see the ice spirit at all. So as you can see here, this is not really... His pump, I think, was his last card, so... Um, bad starting hand for him, I guess. Um, and I was thinking Minion Horde was going to come in at some point, but it, did, it didn't come in. Excuse me. So we were just trying to figure each, out each other's decks at this point. Um, and so far, so good, guys. This is exactly how we wanted to play this deck against the Three Musketeers. Playing it nice and casually to start with. Defending pretty well, I think. Um, we'll break it down a bit further with the rockets that I made um, later on in the game. So the mortar does a really good job against musketeers, obviously, as you know, because it splashes. So what did we do here? Yes, we went in with 
um, just a knight and allowed the mortar to do its thing on the musketeers too. So we only took a bit of um, a bit of minor damage there. And so far so good. We are even on elixir and pretty even on damage too. So <clears throat> I think here this was a good play to make because I knew that he would have minions. Um, <laughs> this was actually really bad. Obviously I missed. I was trying to get a bit... Um, I don't know, a bit too too much value for my arrows and I should have just taken down the minions and ignored the collector. But this was a decent play to make as well with um, supporting my minions with the hog rider. Probably could have thrown in some more arrows but it, it wasn't really needed I guess in the end. So again, so far so good. We got the damage lead <clears throat> and we can take out these musketeers very very easily. So we only have to worry about this single-sided push, which is absolutely fine. Anyone who's half-decent at Clash Royale can defend this kind of a push. So again, hardly any, any damage taken. And at this point, when he has the Elixir lead against three Musketeers, it's just about um, trying to defend nicely and waiting for, waiting for the, the right moments to push. So the Rocket was better here on that side. Just because that was the side that he was really trying to go for. And it meant that that side was just easy to deal with. And then the, the right side was just simply Musketeers. And then this was a decent play. We uh, sent the minions in at the right spot. Um, got the arrows in. And there was not much he could have done. That was a bad Ice Spirit. If he did taken out the minions with that Ice Spirit, it would have been a completely different game. And we probably would have drawn. So, overall... <clears throat> I didn't really see too many mistakes apart from maybe those those arrows that should have taken out the minions instead of hitting the collector as well. But really good play and we are, so where do we finish this video? 473rd in the world so really happy with that. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Been a bit of a different um, deck from my usual hog cycle but this is really strong. Definitely give it a go. Let me know what you think and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.